The automotive sector produces more than 10% of the world's industrial emissions. Carmakers racing to decarbonize and meet net zero goals have focused on electrifying powertrains. But while electric cars produce less emissions than petrol or diesel models when driven, the production lines and parts used to make them are still significant polluters, especially the batteries. Carmaker Volvo estimates that making one battery produces six to eight tons of CO2. They also require valuable metals that are energy intensive to mine, such as lithium, nickel and cobalt. And the average EV battery needs replacing every 10 years. With around 16 million electric cars already on the world's roads, according to the IEA, demand for new batteries and stockpiles of used ones will only increase. Experts at the University of Warwick say more than 90% of an EV battery can be recycled, including the valuable metals left inside. But accessing them is difficult and dangerous, as the cells also contain liquid electrolyte that's flammable, explosive and highly toxic. Researchers are working on faster, more efficient ways to strip EV batteries down to component parts. New electrochemical techniques are being developed to extract and purify valuable, hard-to-recover metals like lithium. Another option is not to recycle immediately. Several car makers are involved in experiments to extend the life of old EV batteries by using them to store energy for homes, industry and even a football stadium. Although it's unclear exactly how long they'll last in this way. Beyond the battery, car makers face huge challenges to make their models more sustainable. Modern cars typically contain between 8 and 10,000 parts, according to the German manufacturer BMW. And some recycling techniques commonly used in other industries can't produce the quality required for car making. For example, even a trace of impurities such as copper in recycled aluminium will make it corrosive and unfit for automotive parts. Some progress is being made. Ford is turning discarded fishing nets into plastic wire holders for its Bronco Sport SUV, while the VW-owned Bentley brand has produced a luxury coupe using reclaimed timber for seating trims. And Polestar aims to make a carbon-free car dubbed the Polestar Zero by 2030, using renewable energy and reused or recycled components to build it. Without improvements in sustainability, by 2040, 60% of auto industry emissions will come from materials used in production, according to the McKinsey Consultancy. Rolling out a circular car made of recovered materials is the ultimate goal, but achieving it won't be easy.